Welcome to another episode of AKR ME Fitness, your favorite YouTube fitness channel. In this episode, you have myself and Ashley, and we're doing lat pull downs. We did four sets of 25 reps of lat pull downs, and of course, lat pull downs is going to be for your lats. I do this to the best of my ability at all times because the thing about me is nine times out of ten if I'm giving somebody advice it's, it's advice that I've already followed that's the only reason I know to give the advice is because it's usually a situation that I've been through in my own life and I've had to um, apply the same words to myself that I'm giving to that individual so you know try to do so yourself if, if, if the opportunity is there I have a young friend and I tell this all the time, especially when, and when it comes to terms of working out, she doesn't believe in herself. And if you don't believe in yourself, then you're, like it says, you're hindering your abilities. You're putting yourself in a position where your mind is actually working against you. And if you don't believe you can do something, you're not gonna put the same amount of effort into it as if you do believe you can do something. So you're actually holding yourself back by not having belief in yourself. So. Whether you see results or not, continue working out as if you believe that things are going to work out for you because eventually they will. In the gym, you're going to get results as long as you keep working and you believe that you are going to get those results. Like the statement says, thoughts are not defaults. At some point in time, you made a decision to think, of, think the way that you think. We just may feel like they're defaults because we've been thinking that way for so long. But once you recognize that, okay, I made a decision to, to have these thoughts, then you can um, go about the process of changing your thoughts. What you're doing right now is building your future. It's either building a future you're gonna love and one that you're not gonna be too happy with. So make good decisions so that your future will be benefited by the decisions that you make now and you'll be building a good future instead of one that you aren't really satisfied with. It's simple. Work hard and doubt yourself every step of the way. Oh, I'm sorry, I misread that. It says trust the process. So don't, don't second guess yourself when you're doing the work. You have to know that hey, this work that I'm doing is going to, to be beneficial to me. Trust the process. If you trust the process, then the process will work for you. The name of that story when we were little kids was the little engine that could. It wasn't the little engine that was doubtful if he was gonna make it up the hill or not. The little engine that didn't, that was uncertain about his future. Nah, the little engine that could. He, he thought he could and he could. Whereas if you don't think you can, you probably can't just based upon your thoughts. So, so get your mind right and trust the process and work hard. At this point in my life, a lot of the work that I'm doing is going uncompensated, but I'm, I'm okay with it. And I don't feel like I'm failing in the least because I, like you said, success is not always measured by the amount of money that you have. A lot of times success is measured by the, the impact that you're having in other people's lives. And I am well aware that I'm having a positive impact on people's lives at this point in time in my life um, based upon the fact that people tell me um, on a daily basis that, that such is the case. So whether my pockets show it or not, I still feel as if I am being successful because I'm doing God's work and in the end, God is going to reward me for what it is that I'm doing. So I'm not even tripping about the uh, financial aspect of it at this moment. Great, it's gonna take time. If it didn't take time, then everybody would be great. So don't give up, keep fighting. Kobe wasn't great just overnight. Mike wasn't great overnight. Anybody that, that has achieved something that was just great and phenomenal, they didn't do it overnight, it took time. Everybody's got a story to tell. You're not gonna be any different than these individuals. If you, if you expect to have, or to be admitted into the club of greatness, then you, you're just gonna have to, uh, Accept the fact that it's going to take time. Otherwise, you know, you can just remain mediocre like everybody else. But if you really try to be great, accept the fact that it's going to take time, put forth the work, and dedicate your time to it, and sacrifice and win. I see no lies here. If you know me, you know I go looking for the pain. Give it to me. 
you know what I'm saying? Pain for your pain probably tired of me. You're like, man, this dude ain't tired yet. Pain, I'm pain, you gonna get tired, tired of being inflicted upon me before I get tired of feeling you. So yeah, pain fears me. I'm not even scared of pain. Give it to me. Yeah, what's memorable about somebody that gave up? Anybody can give up, and most people do. You trying to be legendary? Man, you gotta fight through the pain, fight through the, the difficulties, fight through the obstacles, fight through everything that is thrown at you. That's how you make yourself memorable. That's how you get your name up in lights. Otherwise, you just be like the average guy that gave up that nobody's gonna remember. Everybody's gonna have something different that's going to ignite their desire to keep going. I, I do this to, to give you examples of what um, fuels my fire, but everybody's going to be different. So maybe you can um, adopt some of the same reasons I have, or maybe your reason is going to be entirely different. But find something that is going to ignite the fire for you to drive you and push you forward. As always, I want to thank you for watching another episode of AKRME Fitness, where we create a climate conducive for our clients to gain confidence and change the world one workout at a time. With that being said, myself and Ashley are out of here, but we'll be back soon with more lat workouts. See you guys then.